Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining Varignan's theorem of moments. Now, Varignan's theorem of moments, it states that the algebraic sum of moment of all the forces is equal to the moment of the resultant. So, for that, I will write the statement here. So, Varignan's theorem of moments states that the algebraic sum of moments of all the forces about a point is equal to the moment of resultant about the same point and this is mostly used in case of non-concurrent forces in order to find the location of resultant. So, I will be explaining this with the help of a diagram here. So, here there is an example in which we have four different forces. These are unlike parallel forces and they are non-concurrent forces as we can see here passing through different points. The distance between force F1 and F2, I am denoting it as X1, then between F1 and F3 that is X3, X2 and between F1 and F4 that is x3 now we need to locate the resultant with the help of the first force so this is the reference i am marking here first force i will call this point as point a then assuming this is just an assumption that the resultant is acting in the downward direction but the location of this resultant that is at how much horizontal distance it is located with respect to point A is not known that we have to calculate. So, I will keep the distance between force F1 and the resultant as distance X. Now, as per the Varignan's theorem of moments which is used to calculate the location of resultant for the non-concurrent forces. So, it says that the algebraic sum of that is summation of moments of all forces about a common point A will be equal to the moment of resultant about the same point that is R into X. And here the convention is whatever the clockwise forces are there, clockwise moments are treated as positive and anti-clockwise moments are taken as negative. So, I will start with the first force F1. Since it is passing through the same point where we want to take the moment, there is no perpendicular distance. So, its moment would be 0. Then, here we have F2. When I take the moment about point A, this would be in clockwise direction and it is taken as plus. So, it is plus F2 into X1. Then, we have F3 acting upward. So, it would be producing anti-clockwise moment. So, minus F3 into distance is X2. Then we have F4 again acting downward when I take the moment at A, it would be in clockwise direction. So, plus F4 into X3. Now, these are the algebraic sum of moments which is the left hand side. On to the right hand side we have resultant since it is also acting in downward direction. When I take the moment at A, it would be clockwise so treated as positive. If R would have been upward then it would have been negative here because of anti-clockwise moment. So, it is R into the distance is X because moment is force into perpendicular distance. So, R into X. Now, by using this formula, if all the distances are known, that is X1, X2, X3, all the forces are known including the resultant, we can calculate its location by finding this value of X. So, in short, that was an explanation of how to get the location of resultant by using Varignan's theorem of moments for 
non concurrent forces that may be like or unlike parallel forces at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching